What is it, Professor George? It didn't look like a head bone. A skull. I mean, cranium. Or a rib cage. Because it was a leg bone. <laughs> and this could be a claw. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. I found the spine, Professor George. It wasn't a foot. It wasn't the right shape to be a tail or a head. <laughs> it was pretty funny, though. <laughs> well, looks like we found everything that's here. Like it could be some sort of a raptor. Hmm. Now George just needed to fill in the missing pieces of the puzzle. Ah. <laughs> the abuela has a crowbar that would fit right where the other leg is. And I know where to get an extra claw, too. George had a box of treasures that he'd been saving for a special occasion. And what could be more special than building a dinosaur? Aha! Look what my mom had in her kitchen! Ooh! <laughs> What's going on over there? I'm not sure. Let's check it out. <laughs> Get it to stand up. <laughs> oh. I can help you wire that together. Yeah! Yeah! Right. <laughs> what is going on over there? Leg bone? Oh, that's quite a find. We still don't know what part of a dinosaur this is. <laughs> George realized what their dinosaur was missing. It's wings. The Metallicosaurus was a flying dinosaur! <laughs> I'm so excited for you to meet the museum's newest dinosaur skeleton, discovered at a local construction site by Mr. Glass and his whole crew. Ta da! Oh, fascinating! Oh, wow. goodness, goodness gracious. And I'm excited about George and Marco's new. Uh, oh, what did you call it? Metallicosaurus! Discovered on the same day, which will be on display in the lobby of my new hotel. Well, Professor George, <laughs> what shall we discover next? But George couldn't wait to find out. <laughs> 